Hello, welcome back. Last time I met the Corruption, which was a real interesting boss fight, and uh, then was officially given the brush that I had already taken. Now we're going to Nibble Tunnel for reasons I'm not currently remembering. <laughs> uh, that's fine though. I'll go there anyway and find out why I'm here. Two ways. X. Uh, what does that say? Dinners, this way. That's where I was going, right? Potluck, or... I don't know. Let's go to dinners. Hmm. Maybe I can't. Looks like I need some kind of special painting power to get across there that I do not have. Alright. That's clear enough. Potluck. Food names. I see a bunch of mushrooms. Oh, right. I had a different way to do this. Hand on the mouse. Much more precise. Those mushrooms almost look like they have, like, teeth or something. Um, Alright. Well, let's fill in up here and see what's there. Okay, way up. Uh, so let's see. Bounce shroom, but I need... I need... Darkness here. Dar darkness? Oh, the crystal. Right. Alright, I think I can see well enough to do that much. Oh no, I'm fiddling with the wrong color. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? Oh, I'm not going here. I'm going up this way. Okay, here we go. Um, crystal, go away. Found something. Ooh, there's like a hole there or something. If my brush is bigger... Whoa! It's little bugs. Alright, don't step on them. Uh, if my brush is bigger, do I fill faster? Maybe. Hard to tell. Alright, the bugs eat my light. They like it dark. Okay. So I can go up here. I'm filling the wall, not what I meant to fill. I want the floor. Alright, so that goes down, but there's like, there's more. Alright, little buggies, there's a gift. Okay. Uh, here we go. I got a black dress. Okay. I want to be camouflaged in the dark. That's not actually the way to do it. Uh, okay, well, I'm on this layer now, and this is the color for this layer. Gift down there. Um, no ways to go here that I can detect. Oh, well, I, I found one. All right, so this looks very complicated. Uh, I, I sprung somewhere. Bugs are eating my light. Paint. Um, what am I trying to do? I don't know. Something. So I'm down. And that's where I want to be. Here we go. Got a big star. Mmm. No, no, no. It was a howdy to the moon. I keep getting star-related things and thinking they're about that, but that's not what I'm after. Alright, you took my mushroom, but I can put it back. And then this one. Here we go. Uh, this is nowhere. Unless this is somewhere? It's not, but this is. Here we go. Uh, uh. And then I need to be up, so I actually needed these mushrooms. Okay. This stuff goes away when it's light. It's like the opposite of the certain kind of mushroom. Alright, so here's an exit. And is that all there is to see up here? Oh, there's a way. Alright, guess we're on this color now. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, this is fun. There might be something more there. Hey, Mousy. You spoke to me. At some point. And now you're purple. Turnip! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. I got completely lost coming back. Getting through the dark is so hard. And the cave is full of creepy bugs. Could you paint a line from me to the exit? That would help a lot. Thank you. All right. This is your color now. Whoops, I... Wait, I'm not done. Okay, I guess that was enough of a line. <laughs> uh, hi, Turnip. You can make the line as thin as you need to, as long as I can follow it to the exit and not step on any weird bugs. All right. Let's paint a thin line. As long as you can follow it to the exit and not step on any weird bugs. Um, not sure where the bugs are here. I guess, okay, there are some there, and there goes the line, kind of. All right, how is it going to interpret... Okay, so what's going on here? Oh yeah, they want to eat that. Yummy paint. Does it know... Okay, it does. Cool. And I can follow the line, too. How handy. That's pretty cool. Now I'm just thinking of programming the line check. That's not necessarily trivial. A nice clean line from me to the exit would be nice. But if the bugs eat it, I won't go. They creep me out way too much. Okay. Pizza puts down a little splotch of color. Um, uh, okay, that took a moment to detect. Uh, when they enter a room in whatever I had selected on my brush. <laughs> Your pants are green now. Ah, thank you! I thought I might never get out of there. Please take this! Kerchief. Alright, let's try it. I... okay, it's not in my head, it's on my neck. Well, I'm going back home to Potluck. Come and visit sometime. And don't forget, the Wielder Temple. You gotta fix it. Okay, is that what I'm here to do? <laughs> I don't have enough of a feel for the, uh... What's this? Hold up. I can favorite things, I think. Okay, that's what the round glasses look like. They're not, not actually that bad. Um, okay, obviously I'm favoriting that. Is there any other headwear that I particularly like? None is fine, too. Alright, those two can be favorited. Um, pocket jacket's nice. Ooh, black dress is actually pretty nice. That is not bad. Custom tea is fine. I mean, I made it, you know. Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't have a good enough feel for the story to be able to follow it overall high. Little uh, bird, I guess? Yeah, seems to be. Aw, oh, I scared it off. Okay, I well, we just went into that tree. Well, I'm going to disturb you some more. Hope you don't mind too much. It doesn't. All right. <laughs> Uh, you went north, didn't you? Maybe not. So here's Potluck. Hold on, did you go north? Mousy? Turnip? That was your name. Whoa, what's that? Uh, whoa! That's cool. Okay, I'm not sure what I'd do with it. Um, big gift. Rock. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, I can't reach any of it right now. Yeah, clearly I'm going to get a lot more... Oops, that's what that button does. What does this button do? Nothing. This one? Nothing. Okay. So yeah, getting some hints of how the mechanics will end up evolving here. Hi, kiddo! Hey, Dad! Oh! Finally got away from your girlfriend to visit. Kya ha ha! I'm kidding. Um, good to see you, though. Ma says, you're the wielder now. Proud of you, kiddo. Want to give me a hand with something? I want the holy shop to get colored again. Something flashy. Is it donuts? All right, uh, something flashy. What are the colors I have here? All right, let's start with some of that. And how about red in front? And then these can be that color. Those windows can be 
nothing. Door, oops, um, door is this one. Rooftop is, I guess, this then. Not quite done. Oh yeah, pizza, that looks great. Thanks so much. Though yeah, I have something for you. Now that you're traveling around so much, I don't want you getting lost. I got a camera map, all right. It's one of those fancy new camera maps, so you can take photos with it and stuff too. Just press X to open it, okay? I'll head back home now. Call us if you ever need anything. All right, okay, so I could have talked to you on the phone if I had uh, persisted. All right, so that's what my... X was the button I pressed accidentally a moment ago, so now it takes me to this menu. Otherwise, it just took me to the, the menu menu. Okay, um, so there's a zoom. Okay, so holy shop, nibble tunnel. Oh, I like the way things pop in and make little noises from it. <laughs> okay, this is neat. And I've made my marks on the world and they've persisted. <laughs> if I draw here, does the line show up in the real world? Probably not. Uh, use alt pan. Whoa, okay, so that's my zoom shortcut. Brew path, so that's what this is called. Did I paint something here? Yes, I did. I painted a little line to, as if it would help me get across. My, my brush has a facing. When I go right, it does that. When I go left, it does this. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> uh, all right, so zoom back out. Whoa. Um, so luncheon, supper woods, map and camera. Okay, so toggle my paint colors. Got it. So I could make like m markings on the ground and have them stick around and remind me of stuff on the map. That's nice. Uh, what's this about camera? Oh boy, um... Uh... Okay, let's use the mouse for this. That'll be a lot easier. What's that? Whoa. What does that mean? Just... Whoa. Shaders. Okay. Ooh. That's interesting. Ha! <laughs> that's silly. Ugh, that's unplayable. That's pretty cool. I actually kind of like this one. It's real hard in the eyes, though. Edge detect. Lots of stuff going on. Okay, this is like what it was like to fight a boss. And then normal. Okay. What's that? Expressions. All right. <laughs> so many expressions. <laughs> All right, and uh, poses. Okay. Hold on, let's zoom in a bit here. Whoa, uh, can I, whoa, uh, 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 how do I uh, pan with those keys? All right. <laughs> well, I assume this is just for f making fun screenshots, but I appreciate that it's there. Let's not look at all of these. This might like, you know, I want the opportunity to be surprised by these later. Whoa, uh, okay, good, it came back. So this would take a picture, and then go here, and what's that? Nothing? Uh, um, I can't paint on it. So photos I've taken, I could delete this one, and hold for a moment to make sure it happens. Okay, got it. What's, what's this? This looks like a button. Maybe that's my list of photos, and if I take another one... Uh, zoomed in. Yeah, okay, got it. All right, cool. So there's a camera. Uh, this lamppost needs some color. Uh. <laughs> uh, tapioca. Hi, welcome to the holy shop. And before you ask, no, we don't have any of the color specials. Sorry, our holies got wiped with everything else. Oh, wait a second. You're the wielder! Listen, we need your help. We need you to design a new special holy. Okay. Sweet. The color special is basically the only reason people come. Decorate away. All right. Design a holy. What is this? 
it's an orientation of some sort. Okay, so these are just like complicated color pickers. Can I change my brush size? I can. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna do something pretty basic. Just like, here's some stripes. Why not? I went outside the line a little bit, I'll fix it. Um, I don't know, is, it, is, is there nothing? I'm looking for a yellow, that's the closest I get, I guess. Uh, it's a real bad circle, but you know what? It'll have to do. Oh, I don't like those colors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change them. Let's go with this and a bigger brush, a bigger brush. Oh, that's too big, but I'm, I'm going with it now. That's slightly less unappealing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Sure, done. It's like an eyeball. <laughs> it actually looks pretty gross. All right. <laughs> but uh, person whose name I've already forgotten is happy with it. Ah, it's perfect. I'll get started extracting the colors. I'll have to make a ton. I'm sure people will be lining up any minute. Oh, I'm not happy with what I've made there, but that's that's what I've done. <laughs> All right then. Uh, I can sit. I can sit. And then the, the screen gets a little smaller for standing up. Oh, hey. Ah, I love your new color special. How did you make a holy look so beautiful? I almost don't want to eat it. I'll take a million pictures once I get my hands on it. Yes, it's holy time. Love it. Love to holy. Take me to the holy dimension. <laughs> uh, I, I missed your name when uh, I talked to you first. And now I've forgotten. That's a capybara. Young people these days. They barely make time to talk to others. Maybe they'll interact once, but then they move on. Don't they realize how much they're missing? I try to interact with everyone multiple times. Even when they do interact, they'll use B to skip through the conversation quickly. Why can't they take the time to pause and listen? Maybe I'm just slow. I appreciate you stopping to listen. Maybe the young folks are doing all right after all. Why don't you take this? <laughs> you gave me trash. Thanks. Um, thanks. <laughs> all right. For that, you get some color. And you know what? Your shirt can have some too. My choices are limited, but that's what you get. Okay? Custard. The new wielder. What an honor. Did he come because of our boy Turnip? Yes, yes, we sent him. We saw the strange growth in the temple with our own eyes. What's worth the way? Uh, what's worse, the way in is completely blocked. Yeah, we were hoping to go see the art. It's usually so lovely. Have you been to the Wielder Temple? If you're a Wielder, you must have, right? It's got all sorts of history on the Wielder and the brush. Yeah, and lovely art too. It's a national treasure. We hope you can fix it, right? Uh, Granita and Fritter. I'm not going to remember anybody's name. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Our family's been here in Potluck for generations, since before the Art Academy. Did you know a mouse was one of the first wielders? I hear a lost kid over there somewhere. Don't underestimate us just because we're small. Yeah, mice are, mice are pretty smart. They can do lots of things. The Art Academy and the temple are old as dirt. But all around it, Potluck has changed over the years. Who's speaking right now? The, the thing is centered over you, but somehow I... Okay, there's the, there's the tail on it. It was very, very small. Kids travel here from all over for the school. We're lucky to be surrounded by family here. Okay. Uh, where is this lost kid? There. Meow. Grits. I'm glad my little bro turnip is okay. I love the kid, but he's a bit of a goofball. I always gotta keep an eye on him. See, Turnip I can tell apart because I colored him. Hello, please don't tell my family about how I got lost coming here. I'll never hear the end of it. It's a big family, isn't it? But I've always been the baby. They're always on my case about getting lost and needing help. Which did happen again this time. But I was so close, basically. I've always wanted to be in charge of something important. That's why I was excited to talk to the wielder about the temple. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Uh, sure. Turnip's always getting lost somehow. Poor kid can barely make it to the holy shop from here. But he made it to luncheon and back this time. Maybe he ain't just a kid no more. 
one time Turnip went to grab us some holies and he just didn't come back. And I'm like, the holy shop is right there. Apparently he got scared by a bug. And then he wound up halfway across Picnic. That's classic Turnip. He finally came back with holies in the dead of night. <laughs> I was too guilty to tell him I'd already went and got some. Aww. <laughs> Uh, that looks like trash to me. I got it. Alright. For some reason you stood out as something I wanted to color. Could call home. Don't feel like it. Clementine. Clementine! Pizza! Mom said you might be visiting. How amazing. Oh, this is my BFF Radish. I'm so honored to meet a famous talent like you. Um, thanks. People like your sister and I bust our butts every day. Practicing art, honing our craft, just to get a shot at maybe someday wielding status like yours. You must be some kind of genius. Um, come to a class sometime. I'd love to learn from a master like you. <laughs> yeah, getting a pretty sarcastic vibe here. Sorry, I promise she's not always like that. She's right though. She is? Definitely. You should come to an art class. Oh, <laughs> they're inside here. Do it! All right, well, you know what? Sure, I'm here. Uh, your name was Radish, that's right. Your name is, um, I think it's actually pronounced, I looked this up. See, my instincts say quinoa, but I think it's actually like quinoa or something. I don't know, it's some kind of food. Everybody's name is. I'm surprised everyone knows I'm, uh, already knows I'm the wielder. Word travels fast. Students here are more interested than anyone to know who the wielder is. It's a big deal to some of us. Not me so much, but I'm super stoked for you. I guess everyone's extra surprised, because the wielder usually comes from this academy. People study here hoping to get noticed. What about you? I just like art. Being a wielder is a whole other thing. Are you enjoying it? I guess so. Cool. I hope you follow your bliss. Mom and Dad really miss you. They're scared of when I finally move out. They're gonna be lonely. Aw. How's luncheon? It's okay. I never got out much, to be honest. Same. Busy with art. It's the life. Okay. Oh, what an honor to meet you. I'm a professor here at the Academy. No matter your skill level, it's always good to practice and study. Care to join us for an art class? Sure. Ahem, take your places, everyone. Today's lesson is very special. Pizza the New Wielder is here with us. This'll be interesting. <laughs> everyone get your brush styles ready. Um, what, uh, what are those again? <sighs> Raisin, you really should know the terminology by now. Why don't we hear it from our special guest? <laughs> Pizza? Oh, <laughs> well, it's, uh... Why don't you explain? Why don't you explain it, actually? Brush styles are preset shapes for your brush. Good for decoration. That was the obviously the right answer, but I want to hear um, this bird explain it. Good for decoration or creating patterns. Could you demonstrate one? Oh, uh, I left them at home. I'm sure you have more important things to remember. Take the starter set. <laughs> okay, here we go. This might do some things for me. Remember, you can equip a brush style at any time using D-pad buttons. All right, for today's assignment, I want you all to draw something that expresses joy. Get to it. Express joy. Um... While I do enjoy creating pictorial designs for abstract concepts, this is one that doesn't immediately come to me. Joy. How would that... Let me think for a moment. I'm going to come up with something. Actually, let me get to know my tools first. So what are these brush styles? Okay, so just sprays a bunch of stars around, sprays a bunch of hearts around, X's, and then that's just normal. And what's this? 
Those are the ones I've collected. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, so I like assign them to slots. I can only have four uh, uh, together here. Okay. Um, uh, whoa, something weird happened. Okay, I... Right, I went to gamepad mode. So right, this this is with the D-pad, this is with the mouse. So if I touch my gamepad, it switches to that. <laughs> All right. Um, four. Uh, then I can erase. Okay, but this is this is a uh, an outline of the the thing. So hang on, but this is. Can I go back to just like painting normal? Um, okay, yes, just like D-pad twice. Okay, so back to thinking about how to express this abstract concept. All right, so this is a tricky one, but I've. Uh, I went through a bunch of different ideas, thinking about like, okay, so joy. Joy is an emotion. Emotions are experienced by creatures. I don't really want to draw like a creature experiencing this emotion. I'd like to go a little more abstract than that. So I just sort of thought about like... <sighs> Basically what helped me was thinking, how would I contrast this with other emotions, like say, sadness or anger? And just something popped into my head where you could do like... Let's say, um... I'm thinking of shapes that are like, boy, I'm real bad at expressing what I'm trying to say here, but let me just draw, like, first thing I thought of was sadness could look something like, let's start with uh, that, the color's not quite right, I want a slightly different blue for that, but okay, so like, if that were an icon for sadness, the, the lines are a little wiggly, then, um, Extending from there, so that's a that's a smooth shape with like I, I almost want to make like these lines a little bit droopy here, but I think that would look less good. Yeah, that's plausible, but I think it's better straight. I'm having a lot of trouble expressing how I <laughs> how I'm coming by this, but let me just draw. So if that's sadness, then anger would be like red and spiky, like. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. So like that sphere is the kind of representation of how the the internal state of, of things feels. And this has some like extra, what's the right color for this? I don't know, something that kind of clashes. That That's too small. I want a larger brush for this. Okay, so I have to, so if I make a dot, it's always that size. So just a little... I don't know, some like chaos going around on, around here. Just sparks coming off of this thing. Okay, sparks. So like, well, but see, then I was gonna use that for the, the joy one. All right, so then if we were to extend that to joy, I would say the shape that would fit for that. Again, my color choice is real limited here. Let's try, is that gonna be visible at all? Here, let's start with a different, eh, yeah, background's fine. Um, shape I'm imagining for this is like this. Uh, I didn't really count how many spokes I was putting on there, but you know, it came out okay. Uh, so fill this in carefully. And then, um, just like the thinking of like the physical sensation of experiencing this emotion um i want some so this is kind of like the opposite of what i drew for anger but smoothed out and with uh, uh my size is all wrong okay yeah so part of this is just like the tools are let's let's make these lines a little different how about like curly lines I don't know, this isn't exactly getting what I'm going for, but it's close enough. Sure. All right. So that's a peek inside my mind, kind of. I, I can't I, I can't explain my internal process here, but this, this is the output. So this is my picture for joy. That's what I've done. I say done. I didn't use any of the brush styles. I'm okay with that. All right, brush is down. Now we'll move on to the critique phase. Time to show your work. Wow. 
So this is the work of a real wielder. Yeah, it feels so good to look at. Your sparing use of dark magenta is pleasing. All right. I used only two colors. I didn't touch the rush styles. This is pretty minimalistic and abstract, I know. Overall, it's a bright image. All right, so I was wondering how the critique would work. It's uh, describing the physical attributes of it. There's a good focus on the center. I like how you interpreted joy. My joy doesn't feel the same as this. Accurate. You know, this is, this is my internal representation of what I feel for that emotion. Yours might work differently. But I feel like I really understand yours now. <laughs> Excuse me. Does no one else see how... Looks great to me. I want to take it home to mom and dad. <laughs> well, that's it for now. Next class, we'll do a master study. I hope you join us. And everybody, keep practicing. All right, all right. This is the stick I move with. <laughs> Radish really doesn't like me. Listen up. Everyone here may love you just because you're the wielder, but that doesn't make you a real artist. So don't go getting a big head. That's all. I know I come off rude. It's because I see things the way they are, or so you think, and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna be the best. Oh boy, painting a picture here. Anyone can be an artist, but to be the best, that takes hard work. You can't just cheat your way there. Got that? <laughs> Wanna take a class with us? Uh, not now. Maybe another one later. One is enough for one day. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, there's another another room here. Karkala? You know what feels real good? Double tapping the draw or erase button. Oh, yeah. It makes a big, satisfying blob of paint. Just thinking about it gives me the shivers. Ooh, it sure does. All right, that's fun. Art's a visceral thing for me. I do it because it brings me pleasure. I love double tapping to just smack stuff with color. Brush styles are really fun, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. You're the wielder? Wow. It's a pleasure to uh, meet you. I'm working hard on art, too. I hope I can be a wielder someday. Do you want to um, see some of my art? Yeah. Uh, never mind. Aw. It's not good enough yet. <laughs> I also really like video games. Uh, I'm the best in school at Mega Mash Sisters. I'm terrible at that game. Oh, okay. You probably wouldn't enjoy playing with me then. <laughs> All right, that was that conversation. Oh, I like how that went. That there, there were a lot of subtleties in there. Oh yeah, there's a gamepad right there. It's backward. Do you love making art too? It's my favorite way to relax. Lots of stuff makes me feel up and down. It's really hard to make sense of it all. But when I sit down to make something, I feel this kind of clarity. And by putting that stuff out of me and onto the page, I can kind of start to make sense of it. Making art's a good way to spend your time. I guess not everyone loves it as much as me, but I feel like it's good for everyone to do, at least a little bit. All right, this plant needs some help. I'll paint it. Oh, that didn't change its, uh, its happiness. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, so that was our class. I think that's that's the activity for today. <laughs> All right, so got to be ready for some real creativity here. That's fine. I was, uh, I was up for that. Save. All right, see you next time to look around more in... <sighs> I've had to learn, like, 50 names per, uh, per time. I don't remember the name of the place I'm at. It's not dinners. It's potluck. That's the one. Potluck. Can I paint here? I sure can. I tried to put a circle around myself, but I'm using a gamepad, so it's real hard to do. <laughs> I'm going to quit now. See you next time.